Alright guys, so we're going to go over how I painted these Horse Heresy uh, Blood Angels. So, um, disregard the red thumb. Alright, let's get into it. So, the first thing I do is I take um, the Mephiston Red Primer, obviously, um, and I spray the whole mini. Usually I end up spraying too much um, in spots, which is a little annoying. Uh, but overall, try to just keep a thin, consistent coat. <clears throat> Next up, uh, I take the Vallejo uh, Black. And I pick out all the areas that are going to be either black, of course, or... Um, or anything that's going to be silver. Um, so you pick out between his armor plates. Um, I'm going to grab the belt. So those are all areas that are black. Um, I also do have it focused here. Uh, these little pipes. You gotta get these things because they are going to be silver. I also do the top top parts here. Um, I do the little dots on the shoulder pad because they're going to be um, silver, and it looks good when you have a little bit of I have a little shaky hand right now. Um, they get their chest thing and then also obviously their uh, their whole rifle so those are all the areas that I hit with black and uh, I'll be back whenever I've uh, finished painting it all All right, now that we've let that dry, um, you can see all the spots that I hit with black. Um, and you can kinda, can be a little sloppy, like if you see right there, I'm a little sloppy there. Got some on his backpack. So you can be sloppy with applying this because later after a wash, we're gonna go over all the red surfaces again, so. Um, that's what it looks like after all the black. Next we're going to take lead belcher um, and hit all the silver areas. So um, pretty self-explanatory where, where all the silver areas are. So obviously the bayonet, I do the mag. Uh, the rear part of his weapon right there um, <clears throat> I do his chest thing the little straps and I don't know little Iron Man thing hit that um, uh, we do these little exhaust things on the bottom of his backpack I also do under under here the silver uh, and lastly the more time time consuming part would be my edge highlight the little joints between his armor that was pretty sloppy but all these little uh, these little lines. So I just try I try to keep it as thin as possible, but this one I've 
kind of botched. I might have to do a smaller brush, but from a distance, <clears throat> from a distance, nobody really notices that you botched the lines, but just, you know, the longer you take and the slower you go, the better the lines are gonna be and the better it's gonna look, so. Um, yeah, come back once I finished up with all this. All right, so we finished with the um, silver. Uh, here's all the places I hit with it. Um, yeah, once again, even if you mess up, not a big deal. You need to go back over it in red. But <clears throat> while we wait for that to dry, we're gonna take Chikaru Orange to pick out the eyes. So, no judgment zone. I have a shaky hand and I kind of suck at painting, so this is going to be, I never do a fantastic job of hitting the eyes the way I'd want, but yep. <laughs> uh, this is why I love washes and going back over everything in red again, because I can fix sucking at painting. That was a little better. All right, so we'll wait for that to dry and then we're gonna wash All right, it. so now that that's dried, we're gonna take Agrax Earthshade uh, and wash it off. All right, once we waited for this to dry, you know, it's a little sloppy, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna go over it with Mephiston Red on all the surface areas. All right, so uh, you just kinda go over it in Mephiston Red and you're kinda brightening all the uh, raised areas back up, leaving the recesses with the dark washed uh, red. I, I kind of am more of a clean space marine guy. One, because I think it's harder to paint the uh, grimy, grimy ones well, and then I just I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, you're just brightening it all back up with a relatively thin layer of um, of Mephiston red. All right, so brightened it back up, brightened the red back up, um, and now we're gonna highlight the silver with uh, Vallejo. I feel like this silver really makes it pop and it stays a better consistency in my opinion than Games Workshop's uh, silver, but I also don't really know anything, so. But I do like how it makes these little shoulder uh, things pop. But uh, so you just barely touch it on all of these. Brightens it up pretty well. Uh, I also go in and I hit the tops of each one of these little squares on the on his uh, chest, so the top of it is um, 
is glowing, which turns out pretty good. Um, and then you just hit, you know, the bayonet, all the silver areas. I don't go back in to the uh, these parts, but I do hit here. Um, yeah, so I'll, uh, I'll be back when it's done. All right, so we finished uh, highlighting with silver. It's a pretty quick process. Um, but now we're going to go into highlighting the weapon. So for highlighting the weapon, I use... Dawnstone. Uh, this is literally my least favorite part because I, for some reason, I'm really bad at highlighting weapons. And I've started to think about like not even doing it because of how bad I am at it. But yeah, we just do little edge highlights to make the black look not just like a black glob, but more detailed um, and that's uh that's the only part that I highlight that's black I don't go and highlight all the black on the model um, but yeah I mean I just do a quick little like that and I don't know <laughs> it doesn't turn out amazing but it works all right while we're still waiting for the Mephiston red to uh, dry up we're gonna go back with some of that orange that we used and we're just gonna Put a little bit in the eye. Oops, not even showing it. Highlight his eyes a little. All right, for our last bit of paint, we're gonna take Evil uh, Sun Scarlet and we're gonna do edge highlighting on the red. So this is probably the most time-consuming process, but. You know, I've always kind of been conflicted of if I'm gonna edge highlight troops or not, or just just characters, but I like, I mean, I've I spent a lot of money, you know, on these figures, so I decided that I'm gonna edge highlight everybody. Because, you know, when you spend a couple hundred bucks on these guys, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't mind putting the extra time even though it gets pretty monotonous especially on uh, especially on 40 space marines so uh, I'm gonna try to boogie through the uh, horse heresy army but with school and, and working and stuff I I don't really know how that's gonna work so yeah I'll be back when uh, this is all done and That'll be the, the finished miniature. All right, so once we've uh, finished highlighting and basing the miniature, uh, this is what it comes out to look like. So I think it overall uh, looks pretty good. If you want to know how, to, how I did these bases, I made a video about that, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy.